Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to dehydrate tomatoes and I'm going to show you how I do that. But first I have to get cutting up all of these tomatoes. So this is the mandolin slicer. I really like this one. Now I'll show you, it comes with this that you can use. I really don't, it, I don't use them. They seem too cumbersome for me. But it comes with the gloves, which are a safety procedure. If you wear the gloves because you don't want to get cut, it's extremely sharp. So we're going to go ahead and cut up all these tomatoes. And then I'll show you how I dehydrate them because I have a special technique that I use when I dehydrate my tomatoes. Now I'm not sure how many I'm going to do. I'm not sure how many I'm going to do today. We're going to fill up the dehydrator. So I'm going to get cutting these. And then I'll show you in a minute when I'm done. Okay, so now we're going to dehydrate our tomatoes. What we're going to do is we're going to put our tomatoes here. So, the, so this is my favorite, all-time favorite dehydrator. I love this. Now I have Nesco's as well, but I love this dehydrator because it shuts itself off. So it's great. It's supposed to be somewhat like the really expensive dehydrators. Um, it's, I like it. Now there is nothing wrong with the Nesco's. I use them as well, but this is my favorite one. And I'll show you why I really like it. It has a light, it, you can see, you can see it has a glass, it looks like an oven. I just really like it. I've had it for a year now and it works amazing. So this is what we're gonna do with the tomatoes. We have them all sliced up now, and we're gonna put about eight of them to a tray. Now this dehydrator comes with eight trays. Now what I'm gonna do is something a little different. I sprinkle my tomatoes with herbs. Oh, they are so amazing. They are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill up every single tray. Four of the trays come with this mesh. I would suggest you get all meshes. I love the mesh, it's easy to clean. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of the trays. All right, so let me show you how you operate it. So you turn on the start button and right away you have a light, which is really nice because you can see you have preset buttons you can use or you can use your own. I'm going to go with the vegetables. I know to dehydrate my tomatoes, it's going to take longer than that. So then I go up here to the time and press the top button. I'm actually going to go with 15. So we're going to go with 15 hours. because I know the setting at eight hours is too short. I'm just gonna set mine to 160 or 155. And there you go. Now, if you don't shut it off, it will automatically shut off in 13 hours because that's what I have it set. It's very quiet. You don't have big, loud fans blowing. Up top here is where the exhaust comes out. It's not as hot as those big other ones that you can it's not as hot as some of them and the light will go off when the temperature reaches but you can always turn the light on if you want there's a light button all right i'll show you everything when it's finished all right everything is finished and here's what they look like dehydrated they dry, dehydrate it very very nice in this product review we're going to review the three-in-one adjustable mandolin so let's open up the package and see what it looks like. The three-in-one adjustable mandolin slicer includes julienne, waffle, and stepless slicer. So this is what it comes with. We have a pair of gloves to use when we're using the slicer because it is very sharp. We have a cleaning tool to clean it after we're finished. And here is the slicer. Turn the knob to make the depth of your slicing if you want to make it thick or if you want to make it real thin. You can turn it if you want to have it like french fries so you can shred it. 
to put our gloves on. Now you can use this. I generally just use my hands. And we go like, and it slices it really nice. That's what they look like. So you can slice it. You can have all different kinds of cuts. There's different blades that you can use. They're not coming out, they're coming out. So we got these plants at Aldi for $1 and we are going to make our own terrariums. So this is what we're gonna do. So I have people in mind, that was my mom's, and this is Michelle's, she's got some cactus in hers, she had some fake cactus, this is Sierra's, so we're going to probably get some more stones and put stones in them, and there is Sienna's, just fixing mine up a little bit, make it more even out. So we got the terrariums at Walmart, and we got the plants for one dollar at Aldi, they had them on sale. Pretty neat. And then we, we also were on sale at Walmart for these terrariums. They and were seven ninety eight. And they'll make their own water eventually. Probably it'll get moisture in there. Shell, shell just, shell has to just work on her label on hers. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I got a sticky label. Got to come off. Turn it. Perfect. Love it. Well, my friends, it's the end of another really good day. It's nine o'clock here. And I wanted just to share with you the sights of what I see every night before bed. Although you can't see much, this is the old-fashioned life that I live. It's absolutely beautiful. I wish everyone could see what I see. In the darkness, there's so much light. But the camera never picks it up. Every single light that you see is all solar. This is my favorite solar light. We are running no electricity whatsoever. I'm getting more and more and more into solar. I am looking to have solar in my home as well. If you like this video, can you do me one big favor? Can you make sure you give me a thumbs up? Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.